Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Okay, so quick story for context before we actually go into what I have here. Um, so I'm going to be going to a Christmas kind of gathering thing. I know that's way ahead, but um, it is Harry Potter themed. It's a Yule Ball. It's actually being hosted by uh, a Harry Potter cosplay slash charity kind of group down in London, Ontario. So I'm going to go into that and I've been thinking if I wanted to sew a dress for it or if I wanted to use something I already owned. And on a whim, I just kind of started scrolling through Wish because <laughs> I think I was watching like some Wish haul videos and uh, I came across a dress and I ordered that dress <laughs> and it just arrived in, in the mail now and this is it here. I haven't opened it yet so I don't know if this dress is like what I ordered, if it's any good, or if this is going to be a, um, a thing that I should be sending back for a refund. <laughs> so this dress is supposed to be a wedding dress, so I'm probably, if I do like how it looks, I might do some alterations to um, like some dip dyeing just to get a little bit of extra color into it, but we're going to see if the dresses on Wish that are a little bit more pricey now this one I ordered and it came to be about a hundred and... Okay, so this is called the Charming Champagne Ball Gown and it's supposed to be a wedding dress. Now this is $179 Canadian, so for Wish it's very expensive, but the dress on the website looks absolutely stunning. So if this is a wedding dress that looks like that, if I were to buy it in a store here, it would probably be at least like $900 and that's going to be conservative depending on what sort of a designer this was this could easily go up to like two or three grand so if this is a very good quality beautiful dress like in the photo $179 while ugh, it, it makes me shudder that I spent that much money on an item from Wish <laughs> if this is amazing it would be worth that amount of money because I could sell this again after I wear it for that Christmas event and easily get my money back. But if this is not up to standard, like if I try this on and it's not a good dress, it's gonna be returned for a refund because I am not going to just hang around or try and get rid of a second-rate dress when it cost me $180. <laughs> so knowing that, I'm going to open this now and we're going to see whether or not I made a good investment or if this is going to be another wish video. Okay, so we're, we're opening. I'm seeing lace. It looks actually like the lace that I got from Fabricland when I was making my dress, so that's kind of promising. That's the sort of nice lace. Okay. Oh, there's a packet of Let's see what's in the little envelope. Oh! They gave me a necklace with it. That's kind of cute. Here, I'll, I'll open this up and show you what it is. So it's this little blue pendant. Oh, I can get it to face the right way. It's this little pendant there. It's like blue with a silver thing going on and a little silver chain. Fashion jewelry. Like it doesn't look expensive, but that's cute. That's nice. Okay, let's open the page here, see what the little note is for. Dear customer, thank you for your order. Thank you for ordering the dress from our store. I'm just going to kind of adjust the English isn't perfect on this, but you get the idea. So thank you for ordering the dress from our store. We hope you like the item and look forward to shopping with us again in the future. If you are satisfied with the purchase and our total service, your comment is very important in our business success. Please take a minute to leave positive feedback with an overall detailed selling rating if you ha of five, of course. If you have any question, 
or problems, please feel free to contact us anytime through email before leaving feedback. We will solve any problem for you once again. Thank you and hope you enjoy shopping with us. Best wishes. And then it gave the store name and then an email. Okay, so it's good to know if anything's wrong with this. I have contact information so I can hopefully set things up if I need to fix anything. Now let's see what we've actually got here. Oh lord. Oh, okay, we're unrolling. Oh god, there's a lot of dress. So holy mackerel. Okay, well this is definitely... Like it's a dress, like this feels sturdy. This is really nice actually. There's a panel, little tags, hang tags. Wow, yeah. Now it did say champagne on the website, so it is a little bit sort of that peachy champagne-y color. I don't know why I thought it would be more like pure white. But dear god, okay. So there is <laughs> a ton of dress here, and it feels actually really nice. Like I think as long as this fits, I, I've got high hopes for this, so I'm going to try this on, and we're going to see what this looks like on a person. <laughs> okay, so... This is a, frankly, ridiculous dress. I... <laughs> kind of love it. It's clearly not the same dress as what was on the image listing, it's not the same color for start. The image listing did show a white dress, not a champagne-y kind of cream. And the appliques, the little lace appliques, were in different shapes and were sort of different uh, thicknesses. Like, they kind of looked larger and a little bit more uh, solid. So, like, they were still clearly lace, but they were just a little bit more, like, clustered within the lace. It, the set, lace itself looked more solid. That being said, this is a beautiful dress. You can see on some of the appliques where it's lifting a little bit at the edges, like it's not sewn down all the way around. And obviously, I don't wanna say for what you're paying because it is quite a lot of money, but for a dress this large, as someone who does a lot of sewing and that I make different orders and that, if someone were to ask me to sew a dress like this and put the lace appliques on and buy all the fabric, I can tell you it would cost more than $180. But yeah, no, I really like how it looks. Now to try and give this dress the same shape, like the really ridiculous poof that uh, the one in the, um, the image had, I actually have a hoop skirt that I'm going to try on with this in a minute. Um, I just wanted to point out a few things. So I am 5'10". And the bottom of this dress, like, it touches the floor. I could definitely wear heels with this without my shoe, my feet being, like, awkwardly visible. There is a beautiful train on this. It is kind of ridiculously long. You're probably not going to be able to see all of it, but this goes out. It has to be at least, like, three feet behind me. And, yeah, I really love the shade of the dress. They had the listing... That is one thing. The listing said champagne even though the dress looked white. I thought that was just sort of a typo for it. But this dress is champagne, so they weren't sort of doing any sort of trick on that. The listing said champagne, and the dress is a champagne color. And yeah, okay, so... All that. Oh, and the back, I don't know if you saw it when I turned around for the train. I wasn't able to lace it up that well on my own because it's a corset at the back. But the back is very well done. All of the loops are very easy to get the lace in and out of. I was able to kind of get it on myself. I laced it every second loop. That way everything fit through while I was still doing it and then pulled as much as I could. It is still a little bit loose on me at the top, but there's about an inch and a half of gap that I wasn't able to get the dress closed right here. And there is the panel that goes across. And just all the sort of things these are all things that are part of wedding dresses that are a lot easier to do if you have someone else to help. So when I'm using this to get ready for that party, I'm definitely going to be recruiting one of my friends to be lacing me in that way, and this is all nicely fitted. So with that being said, I'm going to toss the hoop skirt on with it now and see if we get that ridiculous volume shape that uh, was in the original listing. It's weird trying to hoop skirt under a really big dress. 
Okay, so I think I have reached the ultimate level of poof. I need to like kick this around behind me now. So the shape of the dress with the hoop skirt, oh, I still need to be sure. This is the shape that was on the listing. So this is ridiculous. And if you want a ridiculous dress, if you went to a store, I don't care where you live, if you went to a physical store, unless it was second hand and bought a dress like this, it would cost you more than $180. So I am ridiculously pleased with this purchase. And if you're looking for something like this, I'll link the, um, the website, or not the website, sorry. It's from Wish, but I'm gonna list the, uh, the shop that I got this from in the comment section and in my description so that everybody can go and check out. And I'm actually tempted, if you guys want to see any reviews of slightly less ridiculous dresses from Wish, just let me know, see if there's anything that you want reviewed. And if you have any other websites that you'd like me to test out for dresses or clothing or anything like that, just let me know. And when I uh, am able to do so, I will try and get that together. And yeah, I definitely... When I wrote this, I need to make sure that it's laced all the way up, because it is still a little bit loose without it being laced all the way up. But that's nice, because I bought the size 4, thinking that since it came from Wish, and since it was from one of the, um, like a Chinese shop, that the size would be a lot smaller. So I was like, eh, I might fit into a 4. It's a corset back, so if it's a little bit too loose, then, or if it's a little bit too small, then I could just like not do it up all the way. But I think this fits pretty perfectly. I'll be able to lace this completely to the back, and then once it's laced all the way up, that's when it'll fit really well. So yeah, I'm just going to end the video here in my ridiculous dress. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.